None of our lights are turning on, so we're a little concerned that for some reason our battery would be dead. But it was a really comfortable night's sleep. That is so weird. Why would our lights just not turn on? Hmm. We are Caitlin and Blair. We moved into our Mazda CX-5 for eight months and are exploring the U.S. Our first trip took us through Northern California and Central Oregon. And now we're at the start of trip two, exploring the Oregon coast, Washington, and Canada. We just stayed at our first overnight rest stop in Oregon and are heading to Mount Shasta. Yeah, it was really comfortable. The mattress is a game changer. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't want to see if our car is dead, so... The lights turned on. Yay! Yay! Time to get ready. Day two. Let's see where we are. We don't even know what it looks like. It's pretty. Oh, cool. It's like a little trailer with a little kitchen. I have drill on my face, probably. That's where we stayed. The cooler's still here. Now we get out our clothes. So originally I was a little nervous to sleep in a rest stop because we're two women and things happen. But when we got to this one, it was totally fine. I'm sure the rest stops might be sketchier, but this one was great. I actually liked having a lot of other cars here, trucks and stuff, and it's just really nice. So yeah, rest stops, number one. <laughs> been to Mount Shasta before and I think if you want an overall look at what Mount Shasta is you should check out that video first. We're back here for a few reasons. One, our friend Dagny lives here and we wanted to see Dagny again. Two, we needed to get south so that we could work our way over to the west coast, start at the bottom of the Oregon coast to work our way up. And three, our roof rack bag has two tears in it that we've kind of glued together so we needed to get a new roof rack bag shipped somewhere and have like a stable address. So Dagny's place was the perfect place to do that. I'm Yasmin. Will you be that old? Will you be alive? Then Dagny tried to convince us to jump off a bridge, which I was totally down for until I saw all the warning signs. This area is being monitored 24 seven by a camera. This is no jumping. We're at the original Black Bear Diner, established in 1995 in Mount Shasta, where two friends got together, Bruce and Bob. They wanted to open up a diner. Bruce had always worked in the restaurant industry, so he called up his friend Bob, who grew up in Mount Shasta, and said, what do you think? And then that night, Bob had a dream about having a bear-themed diner, and so they got into business together, and this is the original one. is not great today so no there was still a lot of fires around so we had to do more indoor activities oh, yeah. Dagny Cannon ladies and gentlemen breakfast dessert breakfast dessert I got the volcano 
I'm so excited. I'm like starving. I'm like really hungry. I thought I was ordering healthy and then this showed up. <laughs> What's your favorite part? All of it. This is so good. We're at the Mount Shasta Sisson Museum. Jackie, we donated. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Look at this. Let's try. Let's try. Enjoy every little fun <laughs> that you can. Here. We're gonna pick some fresh blackberries. Right here. We're gonna make what? A blackberry. Moving our old Sally Novo bag. <laughs> Do you want to say it like that? Sale Novo. Got a rip in it, so now we got to replace it with a new bag. Oh, but luckily right. we're at Dagny's, so we got it shipped here. And we're going to fix it. Yeah. Imagine we didn't have a roof rack. No. <laughs> I'm glad I finally like wore you down. I think I was on board, wasn't I? You're pretty lazy about it. I pretty much just did everything. <laughs> so this ripped off somehow. Yeah, this, is the second. this was the second rip that we ended up gluing together, but like the whole strap just came off. It's supposed to be like that. This back one also ripped at one point. So we had to glue that back together too. So, I mean, it still works. It's just not great. great. Caitlin just protected me from seeing a dead animal. She pushed me inside and wouldn't let me look. It was a dead bird that was lodged in the roof rack, I later found out. I kind of remember it happening, but I thought that I had dodged the bird when it was coming at us while we were driving on the highway, but it actually went right into the roof rack and lodged itself. I feel really bad, but it was there for like a couple days. Thank you, Caitlin. So this is the new one. Orange. Seems like a lot roomier. It does. So we'll see how it does. The zipper is like way better, but the straps are gonna be more annoying because there's like one here, two. And you have to undo them completely. Two in the back, open it. two there, one there. So zipping is better. The other part is gonna be more annoying, but oh well. We decided to get our headwaters on and fill up our empty water bottles with free, pure Mount Shasta water. And in case you didn't watch our last Mount Shasta video, here are the cliff notes on what the headwaters are. It is the start of the Sacramento River, all rainfall and snow melt that goes onto Mount Shasta. And because it's a volcano, the water absorbs into the volcanic soil, which somehow acts as like a filter for the water. It's underground for 50 years and then comes right out at this spring. Fifteen-year-old starter. Fifteen? That's amazing. At this point, we're just wandering around town and found this fun video store, Couch Critics been around for 16 years and James the owner has a lot of cool recommendations. We had a very long chat with him about aliens, which is a pretty common topic here. Well, Dagny's getting a membership. Ooh, classic pep. Not well, classic, cauliflower. cauliflower crust. Ooh. Keeping oh. it healthy. Cauliflower crust, nice. It justifies me eating the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>
mother load. Chasta, which was originally named Strawberry Valley. And then when they went to apply for like post office, they found out there already was a Strawberry Valley. So then they changed their name to Berryvale. And then they decided to change their name to the city of Mount Shasta because really they needed to draw in more tourism. So they wanted to highlight the Mount Shasta part of their town. I don't blame them. Nice. My blackberry dance worked. Ooh. Dagny's got a bunch too. We have more. Then Dagny texted her friend Gary to see if we could try his chakra rocket. It's a quantum ascension chamber. That's like rocket ship. <laughs> Adventures up in different dimensions. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Bear with me as I try to explain this next part because I'm basically going off their pamphlet because it is really, really complex. So the sound healing session we had went like this. The three of us sat on Gary's couch while he gave us a harmonic alignment playing all different sizes of sound bowls based on the 432 hertz nine factor grid. This has to do with the notion that the Samarian based geometry can be represented by frequencies. If you play the sum angle total of any combination of geometric shapes, you'll get various arrangements of numerically perfect major chords revealed by the factor nine grid, which is built on a tone vibrating at 432 cycles per second. And since all life can be expressed by energy held together by frequency and vibrations, sound healing is pretty intriguing. The sounds are really hard to describe. It just kind of like feels like it's getting in through like blood vessels and your like molecules and your muscles and your bones. And like, sometimes it feels like it's over here and then all of a sudden it switches over here. I mean, sound is sound. I get it. I'm just kind of talking about sound right now, but, um, when he's playing the bowls, it just gets inside of you. So if you haven't experienced a sound bath or sound healing, you should check it out. It's just, it's nothing weird, nothing crazy happens. You're just listening to sounds and then afterwards you kind of feel a little different. After our harmonic alignment, we each got to sit under the chamber and hold on to these two rods. Gary built this chamber from research and downloads of the Great Pyramid Cubits, and all angles add up to nine. The tubes came from Randy Masters, who's a renowned mathematician and expert on frequency. As you experience the quantum ascension chamber, you are in a toroidal field that is at the center of a Fibonacci sequence spiral that is at a F-sharp major chord of primary geometric shapes of this planet. The rods you're holding plug you directly into the field that directly go to the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda star system. If you wanna learn what any of this actually means, book a session with Gary or check out his contact info right here. I'm super into all this stuff, but I am nowhere near qualified to explain any of this, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the kind of stuff that is going on here. What were your guys' experiences like? Well, I have done it before, so I knew what to expect and I, I feel different every time I do it, but this time I felt like I could feel almost like this sensation around my heart, like it was working on just clearing this mm. heart chakra. That's nice. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> I just want a little heart chakra clearing. Seriously. So, um, and it was like, it was like heart chakra, but like high heart yeah. too. It was, it was almost like it felt like it was bubbling. And I just want to say what's so cool about Mount Shasta is that everyone here is themselves and proud of it. All the new age and kind of out there things are totally socially acceptable. So it's kind of cool that if you live here, you can just call up your friend for a quick sound bath or a channeling. Let's go. We are finally off to the Oregon coast next. And on the way there, we get all up in the Rogue River by crashing a British family's rafting trip <laughs> and getting on a jet boat. Also, Caitlin gets really pissed about some bread bowls. This left three basically uneaten bread bowls on our table. And they decided to open up this awesome Lockhart Diner. <laughs> that truck just ran over a street sign. <laughs> Where does the cart go in? What? Where's the card? Oh, here it is. 
correct reading. Hard and validated. We're doing good.